Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are one day closer to Premier League Team of the Season. Today is Thursday, it's Rewards Day. I'm recording this a couple hours before Rewards. We are headed into the first set of Team of the Season rewards on this game, which is going to be pretty cool. So I want to talk about that. Also talk about what the rewards market is going to do today. Of course, people have already started investing for a little bit of a rise as we've gotten towards the Premier League Team of the Season, Premier League Tots cards. Uh, coming out and links to those people are already starting to invest in some of those cards and I want to talk about what the the ultimate and the elite packs are going to do to the team this season community cards on the market today as well talk about fodder and just things that I'm expecting to see today on Thursday so yesterday of course we had that guaranteed community tots SBC which everybody was waiting for and uh, there's a lot of market movements because of it I was able to stag myself a tag the fico I hopefully you guys got something good from that SBC. It was 100,000 coins. Was it really worth the gamble? I don't know. A lot of people packed Areola, Eduard, Zielinski, Ilicic, right? It's like the guaranteed Ilicic SBC for what we were seeing on stream yesterday. Uh, it just, it wasn't that incredible, but you know what? It was worth a shot if you did player picks and stuff like that. Also, today is going to be the last day that you can craft the 80 plus player picks if you wanted to stack some up uh, or some 80 plus triple upgrades before Premier League starts tomorrow. If you're going to be spending coins on packs and you don't have a lot saved, this might be a decent shout. So this is a little bit interesting to me. I probably will not do those because I'm really waiting for the league specific packs to come out. Uh, but we'll talk about that a little bit in this video too, preparing for that Friday promo. So again, first thing on hand though is today, right? First set of team of the season rewards. Now it's going to be very interesting to see how the red picks are paying out differently because we only have 15 cards from each squad. Instead of having 41 cards last year from EFL and community, we only have 30. So I really wonder if those low tier cards are just going to have insane, insane pack weight. And they're going to be popping up all the time. But even if you think about it, if you're, if you got top 200 this weekend in the weekend league, um, you are going to be getting 11 of these 15 cards, which only you're going to only miss out on four right now. Of course, you're probably going to miss out on Valverde, Alaba, Barnes, and Juan Bisaka as the four most expensive cards. But still, you're going to be collecting a solid, you know, five, six hundred thousand coins at the very least today, maybe even more than actually like 700, 800k if you get top 100 or top 200. And then from your elite packs, of course, a lot of people have gotten 23 wins or above. That's going to supply these cards pretty heavily today. Now, these cards actually started rising up yesterday after the content drop, because I think a lot of people were told when we get the guaranteed TOTS SBC, that is when they will be their cheapest. So people saw that SBC coming out, they were expecting panic selling, and they were just told to buy on that day. Juan Masaka went from 540 um, on the PlayStation 4. He's up to like 560 right now. And again, if you bought yesterday, I'd be pretty careful because I think all of these cards, whether it's for just a short like hour time period or whether it's for all day today on Thursday, depending on the content we get, I think all of these cards are going to drop at some point today with that supply from rewards because it's not like people are saving those uh, ultimate packs or the elite packs because they have to open them, right? They are locked for the community team of the season. So I think all these cards are going to get supplied today. Now, I do think this is also going to be the buy time for some of these cards if you have not gotten them yet. Of course, you want to see a guy like Juan Basaka get back down to 520, 530K. Alaba was 730 at his lowest. Valverde is almost at his lowest right now. Barnes has been 450. And this Leon Bailey is one I want to mention as well. This guy's really cheap because of the SBC that was released earlier this week, which was the SAR, right? So this guy kind of got, you know, sold off because people were doing SAR instead of Leon Bailey. Now, SAR goes away in two days. So I think once he goes away, this card is going to kind of, you know, rise back. And of course, with Bundesliga uh, team of the season coming in the next couple of weeks, this card right here is not a bad investment for me. So Leon Bailey, Barnes, and Dombele, Valverde, Alaba, Wambasaka, Mukiele, those are all cards cards that I'm expecting to rise out of the day today. Of course, we're going to have marquee matchups too, right? So sometimes you see that marquee matchup supply hurting these card prices a little bit later on in the day. But I think there's going to be so much demand for the meta cards that are in this team for community tots. You're going to see them get low at rewards pretty early on and then start rising throughout the morning pretty significantly, uh, especially for the more rare cards that people might want to put in their team or invest in. So just be careful with these. You know, it's they're going to be lower today and they're going to continue to rise out of packs because Premier League Tots coming on Friday, especially for a guy like a Harvey Barnes or for a guy like Juan Misaka. Now, Juan Misaka, of course, is going to have 
some competition with Cancelo if he gets into tots, which I think he will. But specific, this, specifically, this Harvey Barnes card for me is a very interesting watch. 500K for the stats that this guy has. I know he's not super duper meta in game. People say that Sterling is better than him with body type and all that stuff. But I just think this guy is going to be a casual's dream. A casual FIFA player is going to love this Harvey Barnes with the four star, four star, the 97 pace, and he's only 500K. And you're going to have like team of the season sun coming out Friday, probably left wing. It's going to be like 1.5 to 2 million coins. And it's going to be very expensive compared to a card like this. That's what I think made cards like Felipe Anderson, Tots, Zaha team of the season. And um, Joe Gomez last year rise was because lack of cards in that position. Tots cards are new. They're hyped. They have this insane stats. And the, the community Tots cards are way cheaper than Premier League. So I do like a lot of these cards for potential rises out of packs. Um, starting today. So if you want to get involved with some of that stuff, again, I think that is a decision that you can make, whether it's a buy for your team uh, or you just a pure investment. I think some of these cards will continue to rise. So that's going to be a good look today. Now for the rest of the market with rewards, um, you know, well, first things first, we have a team of the week, by the way, this has been glossed over. Not many people have talked about it, but uh, yeah, we have a team of the week, which literally we're not going to see these guys at all because they're not in red picks, but there's kind of a hidden gem in here. Nick Conte. The French center back from the Bundesliga, 85 pace, 86 defending, 87 physical. These guys are not going to be in the elite team of the week pack. So I'm curious to see if there is any demand for this team of the week um, right away today on Thursday, because usually they get supplied, they drop low and they bounce back. Um, but of course, not many people, in my opinion, not as many people are going to be opening their actual physical packs. And that's going to be the only way to supply some of those. Uh, now, EFL Tots cards, are going to be in reds, but they're not going to be in the ultimate or elite packs, I believe. They might be in the elite packs, I think, but these cards are going to get supplied today regardless, right? Of course, a lot of people are going to get them in the reds, and they're going to be packed a lot through the normal packs that are opened, the few that are open. So just kind of be careful with those. They should be dropping today and potentially rising as well. But a lot of your out-of-pack special cards are rising. People are investing, they're buying these cards because they're expecting a rewards rise. And of course, the Premier League investments that we've talked about, people are starting to buy those. I think you are going to see more panic selling heading into the day on Friday. So just kind of be wary of that. Like Adama was 675 earlier yesterday. He's now 730. Sterling was like 820,000 coins. He's now 890. So I'm not telling you to take the cash if you got a really low price. All I'm saying is Lucas was 550. He went to 595. Do I expect Lucas to hit 550 again at some point or lower either in the next 24 or 48 hours? I do because I think that there's going to be more panic selling as we get towards team of the season. So just Premier League team of the season to be fair. So just kind of keep that in mind. I am not buying stuff tonight for really Thursday flipping. There are some cards I think that will go up. I'm going to be checking some of the out-of-pack specials that are maybe still low and, of course, some of the icons for potential flips. But other than that, I'm going to be staying pretty liquid, just going to kind of dip in, dip out when I see an opportunity um, because I'm really not banking on a market rise today because it's just fell all week like everybody is just waiting for team of the season Premier League. Like, yes, we had community tots. It was cool, right? But I really, really think, I think this Kamavinga is pretty lower now, 600K flat. Yeah, it's like a 30K undercut, actually. Um, that's kind of interesting. But, um, you know, cards like this are maybe where I'd look tonight. If I if I could snag one of these at 600K flat, I doubt that's on the market. But I'm not going to put a lot of my coins away into flips because I really don't feel like we're going to see many people going out and buying that many teams. And that's what really is the demand that you see. 600K flat, I'm going to snag that for Kamavinga because that is a meta card that is very low. So I'm going to chuck that on my transfer list. And now I have a Thursday flip, boys. I've got a Thursday flip. And as you can see, there's only a few cards to 630K. So, you know, a couple guys want to buy some French links, link their teams together. This goes up to 650 or so, and we're through. And so hopefully we can get a nice little bit of a flip there. But for the rest of this market today, I'm really not expecting too much. As you can see, I've got a couple icons and other specials sitting on my transfer list here an open bid on Fatih. I'm going to watch that for sure. Um, but again, I don't feel like a lot of people are going to be buying teams today. And that's what really causes the market to rise. Now, some casuals might be buying teams. So you might see some of your Kante, maybe your Mbappe, maybe your Neymar, maybe your Salah, stuff like that. Varane might go up a little bit. But other than that, I feel like it's going to be kind of just a chill day on FIFA. A lot of focus is going to be around these cards right here. Uh, and, you know, on those items, 
and what happens with those packs today. It's gonna to be a lot of focus around the rewards and the red picks. But again, I feel like a lot of people are gonna be saving their packs for Prem Tots. Now, content-wise today on Thursday, what could we see? I think we might see one last player SBC. I don't know if they wanna have these SBCs kind of bleed over into the next week. Dinya is out for two days, of course, but Sar, Zapata, and Chiesa are expiring on Friday. Um, I really would have my fingers crossed for a Hoiberg SBC today if there is a possibility for that, because he was, of course, one of the nominees, and all of these cards have been nominees uh, that they've been releasing SBCs for. So really hoping for a Hoiberg SBC. That'd be pretty dope um, today on FIFA. Other things that we could see, right? We've seen it the past couple times on the Thursday, right before a promo Friday. We've seen the 83 times 10 released and an 84 plus pay player pick. It's happened twice now. So I think there's also potential today that they could release one of those player packs, you know? Um, so if you really want to make a speculative play, you could look for some 83, 84, 85 rated cards maybe today during rewards if they do dip off, which I do think fodder has gone down. A little bit from where it was. I know we had the guaranteed community tots pack 84s. The index is at 260 points this morning. It boomed all the way to 288. And now look, we're back down to 260. So this is probably a combination of people who invested selling off their cards before rewards because they're worried about the supply. Um, and then maybe you see this rise back up into content drop as people think about either potential icon player SBCs coming out or one of those player pick type things being released as well. Um, that is one thing that I could see today, maybe a player SBC and of course, marquee matchups. So that's going to be more packs that people will add to their pack stash is do these marquee matchups SBCs. And um, they'll be saving those, of course, for the TOTS promo that will be on Friday. I think some people might open them, but most people probably will not because they will be saving those for when the big boys are actually in the pack. So today's really just about the team of the season cards on the market for me. It really is just about those TOTS cards. Now, I want to take a look at another way people might be preparing right now. I want to look at Prem Rares. Prem Rares, um, how much are these today? They are still about 950 to 1,000 coins for Premier League Rares. People are investing in these, of course, because they think the upgrade packs that will be coming out during team of the season Premier League will require specific cards. And that, of course, is something we do not know yet. We'll be figuring that out very soon when they release those SBCs and that info. Um, but that is something, I guess, if you see packs open and those drop to like 800 coins apiece, maybe you get involved. Maybe you're bidding on those going on a sign. If your main um, thing you want to do during Prem Tots is open a lot of packs, that is one way you could get involved as well. Now, of course, I think we're expecting a loading screen today. That's going to be part of the 6 p.m. content that we look for when we're live on stream on Twitch. Link down below in the description. Cheeky plug. Uh, we're going to look for a new loading screen today, kind of talking about the Premier League. Maybe some cards, some hints, some stats. They did last year, I think they put some coordinates, you know, spaced around in the loading screen. And we kind of deciphered, I think it was like Rashford that we knew was going to be in last year and Richarlison or something like that. So something like that we could see today. Um, EA, again, like I mentioned yesterday in the video, I wasn't surprised that the EF or the Community Tots SBC came out on Wednesday because Thursdays EA really likes to shift the focus onto what's going to be coming on Friday. So I think, again, today we might have a little bit of content, but that loading screen, maybe some tweets from EA, of course, promoing Premier League team of the season. We might even have some information about how they're going to reveal the team because last year they had like a whole reveal, like live stream and stuff. So some of that information I think we might learn today as well. I really just think the hype is going to start building for the Premier League team of the season and that maybe won't cause panic selling right away. But it's definitely going to get uh, more people's minds turned towards the Premier League team of the season. Now, I'm really hoping for a Dombele for my Reds today. Good luck for you guys and your Reds as well. And of course, if you're doing Thursday flips, I mean, of course, I do think there are some cards that could rise up and hopefully it does go pretty well, better than I'm expecting. Um, but I feel like even with all the coins that are going to be input on the market today from the elite level players, if you're getting elite in the weekend league, you know, most of those players probably aren't going to go out and splash the cash on big icons or big time special cards in this game. Those might be some of the only cards you see go up like really good amounts tomorrow. I'm going to watch some of those high tier cards too. Now thinking about it, um, but I really feel like a lot of people that are getting top 100, a lot of people that are getting elites are probably going to know that, hey, I'm going to wait a little bit, see what comes out. And I've got coins now that I made today from my elite pack or from my ultimate pack 
that I'm going to be saving for tomorrow for Premier League team of the season and that release. So um, I know that some people are saying, hey, don't you think there's a lot of coins coming onto the market today with rewards? Yes, a little bit, but I feel like you're going to see those coins used tomorrow to buy new Prem Tots cards when they come out because those are going to be what those pros and those elite level players are going to want to go and try out apart from maybe some icons and big time specials. So that is something that is out there. Now, I just noticed that Headliner Holland was upgraded and this was something that did not happen right away. So EA again, all over the place with their upgrade times. And I believe if I'm not mistaken, that the main man Ake has not even been upgraded yet. He is still an 87 rated car when I just checked in concepts and on Footbin. So they upgraded Holland to a 91 and Ake is still an 87 and has not been upgraded yet, which is very interesting to say the least. But that is uh, one thing that happened tonight as well. So that's kind of all there is to talk about, man. In FIFA right now, at, at the, this very moment, we have rewards today. Tots is tomorrow. We're hopefully getting some more information today about that Premier League Tots that will be getting released tomorrow. Again, good luck with your rewards. Good luck for Thursday flipping. I'm going to try to find some deals. I should have bought that Kaka. 310 was a pretty good deal. Maybe I get this one at 310. This guy might be like 340, 350 tomorrow. So I'll look at the overnights and see if there's potential for a W flipping situ situation right now there but that's going to be the video for today boys if you did enjoy it smash a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new it's been nathan for the i will catch you guys later peace out